I've, I've enjoyed it for the most part, just sometimes the workload, especially from Miss Williams, can be a little tough, especially during testing period, and just having all that extra work at home to do sometimes can be a, a little annoying, kind of, but I enjoy learning the cha-cha, and I guess a little bit more, it's kind of nice. I think it's a laid-back class for senior year, like it doesn't bother me that much, but like it's, I don't look forward to going to it every day, I guess, but the people in my class make it better. And I like communities because of the dancing and watching all the films. It's not been that bad, but I just have a lot of work and projects and stuff to do, so yeah. Hi, I'm Miss Spanish Humanities, aka Spanities, and I used it to get both the Spanish credit and Humanities credit, even though I'm not actually getting the Spanish credit because I didn't take the Spanish exam in the end of the year. Anyway, it's a great class, the New York Smith is just a ball. Um, I've learned a lot about art, music, and that's pretty much it. Not really out of Spanish, but that's okay. I take AP on history and I think it's a, it's a fun class and there's a lot of things to learn from different cultures. That's it. I took BA classes instead of humanities and my experience with BA was an enjoyable environment. There's plenty of really nice people that you get to know really well and there's not much that goes on. There's really nice people. So I'm really glad that I took instead of humanities because it's just one class that I probably would not have enjoyed since I didn't like art. And if I didn't like art, then it wouldn't have been fun to be forced into it. But I got my humanities credit from taking a Y class class. I'd much rather prefer that because I can specialize in one area and do what I love. Students when surveyed were over optimistic of their chances of getting out of the humanities class, but in reality the alternatives are inaccessible to the average HSU, MST, or JNC student who is required to find a way to achieve this credit on their own. The humanities class itself isn't well rated by students. Half of the students surveyed who had taken humanities gave the class the lowest ranking, a 1 out of 5. Only two out of the 38 students who had taken the class rated it as a five. Students are also dissatisfied at the integration of the Magnets at Manual, the best magnet school in Kentucky. Most students, when surveyed, rated the interaction of the Magnets as a three out of five, which isn't terrible, but could definitely be greatly improved. Less than half of the students surveyed had ever taken a magnet class, for example, orchestra, outside of their own magnet, even though an overwhelming majority of students said they would if given the chance. But students don't even see a chance to take a magnet class outside of their magnet, especially with the pesky humanities class credit getting in the way. The program we're proposing plans to create a replacement for the required humanities credit. Each six weeks, students will partake in a different class, which altogether will encompass the specialties of each of the five magnets. For example, the first six weeks would be dedicated to the visual arts magnet, and the students would learn about art appreciation as well as more interactive features, and each other six weeks would be devoted to a different subject. The data collected in our surveys clearly show a disinterest in the humanities class and significant interest in making magnet classes that are outside the student's own magnet. The program suggested speaks to both of these prob problems. It ensures that students are able to work in other magnets without causing the disinterest we see in students who are currently taking the humanities class. 
By doing so, each student will not only be exposed to the different magnets, but they will also have the opportunity to interact with more students who are not in their magnet. Students will have the option to take this class to fulfill the humanities credit.